Thank you very much, uh, Supervisor Marr. And I'm, I want to thank you for bringing this item forward for, for your leadership on this important issue. Uh, I want to thank all the people who have uh, you know, waited here to speak uh, on all sides of this issue. Uh, and, and let me begin by uh, first addressing my friends in the Japanese American community uh, who spoke uh, out against uh, this resolution, uh, including Commissioners Ito and Akajo. And I have a lot of respect for the commissioners and for all the people who spoke. Um, and I understand the point about the importance of harmony. Uh, and what I would say is that uh, no one is, in my view, questioning the need to maintain harmony uh, and, and certainly harmony among San Franciscans, not only within members of the Asian American community, but all of us, is important. I think we have a difference of opinion in terms of how we att attain that harmony. Uh, and uh, I believe that uh, harmony requires an acknowledgement of, of truth, of what happened, uh, and, and I don't think that we can have harmony without an acknowledgement of, of what actually took place. And, and I think it is in that spirit that uh, I, I am proud to support this resolution. Uh, I'm a student of history, and I love reading about history. And what's interesting about the discussion around uh, the the need for reparations for Japanese Americans is that a lot of interesting arguments uh, were made uh, in favor of it or against, against that. And one of the things that kept coming up uh, as I'm reading some of the, the articles that were written about this is that people oppose uh, reparations uh, for Japanese Americans and oppose the U.S. government doing anything about that because, among other things, they said, you know, uh, it wasn't just the U.S. that did bad things. Uh, there was a senator, a pretty ultra-conservative senator, Jesse Helms, who said, you know, I will only support reparations if we acknowledge all the horrible things that Japan did. And, you know, the, the reality is that human beings, as Supervisor Christensen said, you know, of all walks of life do bad things to, an, to one another. And in this case, with what happened, so many horrible things were done by people on all sides. But the fact that, that that is true doesn't mean that we should not acknowledge what happened here. And, and that's the point, that by acknowledging what happened here, we're not saying that no one else did anything wrong. To the contrary, something wrong was done. And so to those folks, the, the, the good people, including many good people who happen to be Japanese Americans, I hope that you take this in that spirit. Uh, and that uh, as this item goes forward, which I think it will go forward and it will pass at the board, that you use the opportunity of the, of the monument of the statue as a way of coming together, because I think that we have more in common than we do uh, differences. I do want to address some of the members of the audience that came here, though, and, and spoke to deny what happened. And, and I say this with a great deal of love and respect, but shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you for denying what happened, and shame on you for the personal attacks on this woman, Grandma Lee, who had the courage to fly from another, another side of the world to come here to speak her truth. Uh, you know, it, it, it is Amazing, and by the way, I hope that the Japanese government is not behind some of these denials. Uh, I, I give credit to this government. I, I, I hope that, that they're not involved, because if they are, it's a, it's a double offense. It's, it adds uh, 
insult to injury. Um, those who study history and what happened in World War II and, and look at what happened in, in Europe know that when the, the uh, Allies liberated uh, a number of the concentration camps in Europe in the uh, in occupied uh, Nazi Germany, they made a point of having some of the German residents of these nearby towns to bring them into the concentration camps so that they could see for themselves what was happening. And some of the reasons had to do with, even then they knew that as much as the facts were there, that there would be people who in the future would deny that the Holocaust happened. And sure enough, there are people to this day who deny that some of those atrocities happened. For those of, of, of my friends who are against this resolution, I think it's important for you to differentiate yourself and, 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 and make yourself separate yourself from some of the comments that, that were made here today. Uh, I think that you can be against this, this, uh, this memorial and this resolution without uh, being in favor of denying history. I think the denial of what happened is a disservice to the Japanese American community. I think it's a disservice to, to the people of Japan. Uh, I think it's a disservice to all of us, actually, as human beings. And to Grandma Lee, uh, I just want to say I, uh, I am sorry that that was said. But the thing about this country, it's, is as a democracy, uh, we have freedom of speech. And as part of freedom of speech, uh, people are free to say hateful things. People are free to say things that are baseless. Uh, but the thing about, about the, the lies and the ignorance is that the more those people deny what happened and the more those people go after you, the more they prove the point that, in fact, we do need a monument. Because if people are denying it after all these years, then it's important that we have a testament uh, to what happened. And so on behalf of, of uh, the people that I represent in District 9, as on behalf of myself as a San Franciscan, uh, I want to thank you for your courage. Thank you for what you're doing. Uh, and uh, San Francisco is uh, forever indebted to you. And, uh, you know, God bless you. And, uh, you know, uh, you can see that this is a just country. This is a just city. Justice uh, is an important part of who we are as a city. And so thank you very much. Uh, and uh, the last thing that I would say is, and, and, and I, I was looking at this uh, to those who feel that, that maybe something pos uh, negative will come out of this. Uh, I, I'm a big believer in the truth, and I will end with the quote from, uh, from Mahatma Gandhi, who said, uh, truth never damages a cause that is just. Thank you. Thank you to Halmany Lee. Um, thank you, Supervisor Christensen has to leave in a moment. Thank you, Supervisor Campos, as well.